What if I can't get my hair back? <gasps> my hair! It's ripping. Oh. <laughs> my hair! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lissy. Today, guys, I actually did something insane. I bought the world's most deadliest band toy that's ever been created, and that's the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids doll. How I found one of these gems. I actually found this at the antique store, brand new in boxing. And you guys know I've made videos about this thing before and talked about why it's so dangerous and deadly. But today we're gonna be unboxing it, reviewing it, and seeing if the rumors are true. And we're also gonna be talking about some other deadly band toys that should not have been sold on shelves as we were a kid. If you guys are excited, be sure to smash the like and subscribe to join the family. So before I open and review the most deadly band kids toy in the entire world, I want to tell you guys why it's so deadly and why it's banned. So this cabbage patch doll was actually released in the 90s. It was recalled because it was chewing on children literally. It was actually pretty serious because it would rip out their hair and swallow it down into their mouth. The Snack Time Kid Cabbage Patch doll looked like most other Cabbage Patch kids, but it had one very, very huge difference compared to the other ones. The doll had a motorized mouth that you could feed in some plastic foods that would land in its backpack so you could do it again. So what was the problem with that, you guys might ask yourself? When the little doll ran out of french fries to eat, it would turn onto the humans to eat. The doll's mechanical jaws didn't even have an off switch, so as it would start to eat, it would just keep going while there was something in there. The chewing motion would sometimes catch onto kids' fingers, or even worse, their hair. Which I'm going to test for you guys today. So I might lose my actual hair, just for an experimental video. This might end up bad. There were a lot of stories of little girls getting their hair caught in the doll's mouth, and it was so bad that some girls would even end up with huge bald patches, which makes me a little nervous to try this. A mother named Tammy Mize had brought the doll for her three-year-old daughter, Carly, but when she realized that the doll had snagged off the toddler's hair. She tried to pull it off, but it did not go as planned. She claims it kept rolling her hair inside of its head. It pulled her hair from the root. She is completely bald all the way back down to the back of her head. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should try this. This was not the only case of the doll turning into a tiny nightmare. The doll chewed many other kids' hair up, including a seven-year-old named Sarah Stevens, whose family had to call 911 to come and dismantle the doll completely because they couldn't even get the hair out of the doll. They say it took over 30 minutes to feed it to the little girl. I'm scared of this toy now. I can't believe I have one of these in my hand. Mattel actually issued a recall for the doll with a $40 refund. They already sold around $500,000 by the time that they realized that this was an issue and a caution to children. So today we are going to see if those rumors about this very deadly recalled toy are true. Let's find out. So here's the box of this doll. I love how innocent it looks. Like it's literally just a little kid just saying, la, 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 la. I'm playing with my snack time girl doll. She's eating licorice or pretzel sticks mm, and then she's gonna eat my fingers obviously she has no idea what's about to happen they look all innocent with their french fries and their little pretzel sticks but she's about to have her hair ripped out it says feed me one of my favorite snacks it disappears when i eat it you know what else disappears your hair this is so innocent and then it says when i'm finished eating look at my backpack just like magic the snack is back so is your hair inside there's a birth certificate and an adoption certificate to show that i only belong to you you belong back on the shelf, Miss Snack Time Doll. It says, feed me and my magic snacks again and again and again. My mouth really moves as I eat. Is this also not good because it's teaching kids to keep eating? You know what else is bad? My dog's playing when I'm trying to film. Y'all are too wild for real. Wait, Halo, you're like biting her. Halo. This is just crazy. So there's the snacks that it comes with inside, as you guys can see. And there's the demon herself. Why is it that she has teeth on her face? She looks creepy. Her name's Chelsea Tom. My birthday is March 30th and I like to be cuddled. <laughs> That's so creepy, I hate that. So I have the Cabbage Patch Neck Time doll here and we're gonna unbox this. My boyfriend does not know what's wrong with this doll. If you had to take a guess, what would you say by first glance would be wrong with this doll? Um, like maybe it would fall on somebody? I, I don't know what's wrong. Wait, it says feed me. It's got munchers. It's got like a mouth. It's like a munchy mouth. Here comes the demon. Didn't you pay a lot of money for this? Maybe. Oh, there she comes! Did they wrap her? Oh yeah, they did the thing in the back with all the twist ties where it takes a million years I to get out of it. I hated when it would be Christmas day mm -hmm. and you'd get your toy and it just, twist you couldn't ties. get it out. We're trying to uncage the demon, but she still has like 500 twist ties all over her. Why did they make these so hard to unbox? Because they knew it was going to be a PR problem. They didn't want kids playing with it. Okay, so we got her out of the box and now we got to put the batteries. Why is there a random hole that looks kind of, that looks weird, that looks saucy. Never mind, we found the actual battery pack. We had the wrong hole. 
Now we're taking out her kidney. Yeah, construction. Look at her mouth. Ooh, that thing looks deep. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> The batteries in bring her to life. It's like watching Frankenstein, but like the world's okay. most like deadly toy. And okay. Okay. We unboxed this demon and we have it working. Now don't shove your finger in there. I wanna feel what it feels no, no, like. No, 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 no. Ah, look, it's moving its mouth. That's what it's supposed to do. So we're going to test to see if it can eat this whole entire banana. And then we're gonna banana. test what else it can eat. So um, let's take a look here. I'm gonna shove this banana into this doll's mouth and see if it eats it. And then it goes into the backpack. Oh, it dropped the banana pill, but it did just eat the entire banana. That was horrifying. Okay, just a second ago, I realized there's a wheel that turns in its mouth. Do you guys see that? That's horrifying. Okay, that's why this thing got recalled. This is dangerous. Like, look at that spinning wheel. What are you trying to feed it? A wafer? Oh, it's so creepy. I hate that. The way it chews is actually terrifying. Can I stick my finger in there? <laughs> you okay? Ow! Ow. Oh, wait, what? Ow. Oh my God, it's pulling my finger in. Look, it's got my finger in there. It's stuck? Yeah, it is. Oh. I can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a rubberized mouth. It like actually pulls it in. Here's the real test. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it is slowly kind of. Oh my finger! <laughs> Sorry. It is slowly munching at my hair. I could see where this wheel inside would turn a kid's hair and like get it really stuck and like pull its hair out. Want me to try your hair? My boyfriend has long hair. Come this way. Do it. You Stick it in there. <laughs> Your hair's a little short. Here, I have an idea. What, what if I what? stick your hair in there with this toy? Ow! Because what if kids get it mixed up, you know? What if I can't get my hair back? <gasps> my hair! Oh my, god, it is. oh my god, it is! Wait! Ow, my hair is stuck! Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. It literally did take my hair. Like, what do I do? And it's still going! Oh my god, my hair! Wait, I think that's actually my real hair. I can't get it out! Oh my god, it doesn't want to. Oh my god! Wait! It's twisted around the gear in there! Oh my god! Oh, Wait, shoot. that's my actual hair! No, it's going deeper! It's going deeper! <laughs> Wait, baby, stop! Stop! Turn it off! Take the batteries off! Babe, it's still going! I'm trying to stop it! I shouldn't have done this. I'm actually gonna lose my real hair. Oh my god, sh I made my boyfriend take the batteries out because my hair is actually stuck. In the doll. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, okay. I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. I shouldn't have done hold this. Hold on. Alright. I'm gonna need more ah. hair. What do I do? Oh my god. Get a close up. The mouth is literally, if you guys see in here, the gear has literally wrapped up her hair. That's why That's this is recalled. Hair. You, okay, this is real. To... I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna have a breakdown. I shouldn't have done this. Okay, so we're trying to pull my hair out still. This really hurts. Yeah. Oh, I'm ow. pulling down, I'm pulling down, you pull up. Oh, oh. Do you want me to just cut it? No! Oh. Ah. My hair! It's ripping. Oh. Oh. My hair! <laughs> Look at the doll's mouth! <laughs> no way! That was my real hair. It was. This was just bleached. I just had my hair done today. I hope my stylist doesn't see this. So we're going to talk about some of the other most deadly recalled children toys that were ever created and sold in the stores and surprisingly not the next one on our list might be a little bit unexpected because a lot of us remember this one when we were younger or at least I did I definitely played with this toy and that is a easy bake oven so easy bake oven was actually created by Hasbro and basically if you guys are not up to the easy bake oven lore in 2007 Hasbro had to ditch their beloved 100 watt incandescent light bulbs due to a new federal litigation their toy originally did not have those light bulbs inside of it but since there was a new law Hasbro was forced to change the type of light bulb inside of the easy bake oven toys without that classic light bulb some stuff under the hood had to get switched around in order to get the easy bake oven baking again and short story short that one little switch ended up making this toy go from a perfect little easy bake oven to a disastrous monster of a toy 250 child bakers got their hands stuck inside of these pink little plastic oven and let me just say these were not cold to the touch they were hot. Obviously it was an oven. What does an oven do? 
it bakes things. Ovens need to get hot in order to bake things, so obviously it was gonna be hot to have their hands stuck inside of it. 77 other burned themselves, 16 of them seriously. And in the end, Hasbro recalled nearly 1 million Easy Bake ovens and took them off the store shelves and they were never for sale again. I saw Easy Bake ovens all over when I was a kid. Like all my neighbors had them, I played with them, I used to get little mix packets, I remember seeing the commercials on TV and telling my parents, I really want an Easy Bake oven. But honestly, it was probably for the best that I didn't get an Easy Bake oven because honestly, as fun as that sounded, I don't think an oven that gets up to a certain amount of degrees is safe for little kids to be playing around with, especially if kids were getting their hands stuck in a very hot oven that's capable of baking cakes. Like that is an injury or a hospital visit waiting to happen. So Easy Bake Oven was easily thrown off the shelves and deemed as one of the most dangerous toys in history to get recalled and cause a lot of injuries. So you guys know the Barbie movie just came out, so I had to talk about some Barbie. There was a very, very dangerous Barbie toy, and I'm sure a lot of you guys actually know about this one, and in the Barbie movie, they did reference to this Barbie, and that was Roller Skating Barbie. This Barbie was released in 1991, and it was unique compared to the other Barbies because it had flashing roller skates. While her skates flashed with harmless LED lights, they also literally fired spark at the bottom when you rolled them atop a flat surface. So naturally, when you think about a Barbie being scraped across the floor with a kid playing with it and sparks flying out of it, you obviously would know that would not end well. Literally, children could create a whole entire fire with this Barbie doll, and um, that was just not worth it. Kids probably ended up burning their own house down playing with this, just smashing it around and making flames with the little roller blades. Obviously, we all know how that could have went. Parents eventually expressed concern that their children were at risk of creating a fire or getting burned with this toy, and unsurprisingly, Mattel quickly recalled the project before any other children were seriously harmed with the roller skating Barbie. The commercial for this doll actually honestly made it look pretty fun. At the time, I probably would have wanted this toy. If I didn't know what it was capable of doing, I probably would have been amused to see my doll shooting out little flames from the bottom of its feet. Can imagine that didn't go so well because kids are stupid, you know? They don't know better. They're like, oh, whoa, that's sick. Look at my Barbie can shoot flames out of its feet. Of course kids are gonna do stuff like that. She was pulled off the shelves and never sold again and extremely dangerous for a good reason. So the next band deadly toy, I don't know if too many of you guys have heard of this, but they were called Moon Shoes. Moon Shoes, Moon Shoes. The moon shoes were also known as pogo shoes and anti-gravity boots and ankle inhaliators. Moon shoes are kid-powered mini trampolines for your feet. They simulate the experience of jumping on a regular trampoline with some imagination, the low gravity environment of the moon. They have a big black frame at the bottom and I'm pretty sure they had like some sort of springs inside to create that like I'm jumping on the moon sort of feeling. And they had a purple shoe holder with straps and uh, just looking at this picture on the screen, you can already imagine where this is not gonna go so well. It takes one little off balance moment for you to hit the cement face down wearing these things. Moon shoes were introduced in the 1950s. At the time, the bizarre invention was made out of metal and coil springs to clamp over a person's real shoes like roller skates. They could easily be mistaken for a torture device if you ask me. Then came Nickelodeon in 1992, debuting a child friendly version of the ancient death trap itself in the show Double Dare, and it wasn't long before moon shoes evolved into a full-blown cultural phenomenon. They were also marketed as a one-size-fits-all sort of thing while carrying a maximum weight of 130 pounds on the shoes. They were kind of like wearing a bucket for shoes. However, as we all know, what goes up must come down. Moon shoes themselves, known to this day, have caused over a hundred thousand injuries to children and adults. And that's just every single year, apparently. I don't know if that's still a current thing because they're not popular, but that's what the internet says. And some kids and adults even broke bones such as their arms or their ankles playing with these moon shoes. To me, over 100,000 injuries, it's just not worth it, no matter how fun they look in the commercial. That is one of the most deadly toys of all time. The tea is hot because we're going to be looking at some of the most cursed toys that I hope you guys never ever own. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button to join the family because I don't want you lovely people to miss out on my weekly videos. And if you guys like weird stuff, be sure to subscribe because you guys won't be disappointed. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be talking about a bunch of Mattel toys that honestly freak me out and just weird toys in general that just freak me out. I'm sure all of us growing up as kids had a phase where we had certain toys we played with and I've talked a lot about toys that I used to collect as kids that weren't as cursed you know such as webkins and little pet shops but I did have a few toys that were a little special in the mix such as furbies and um other problematic toys but Mattel being the creator of Barbie you think she would come out with a bunch of really fantastic toys since she was one of the top toy creators but she herself has invented some toys that were just kind of like what were they thinking when they made them and I was lucky enough the other day to stumble across one of them behold my new 
you pet parrot! Yes, this is one of Mattel's cursed creations. Actually a really old toy that I just wanted to cover in the beginning of this video before I talk about the rest of the cursed toys, so just stay patient, stay tuned. This one is called Quackers the Parrot. He's a part of the Yackers collection, and the commercial from this toy is so freaking old. Hi there, I'm Quackers. New animal Yackers. Crackers, so the whole point of yakkers was they just yak and yak and yak, you know, like the toys that just keep talking, they drive you nuts, you know, they're the kind of toys that you want your kids to throw away. These ones were programmed by string because back in the days a lot of toys, you know, they didn't have batteries or didn't have different outlets and technology to make the toys advance back then, so they would have a string pool to make them talk, and this freaking parrot that I found at a thrift store still talks in mint condition, and they're really hard to get your hands on. So yakkers the parrot says like one of like four to five different lines that he's programmed to say, but he has had some scary stories about him along with the other yakkers animals on the internet. I believe there's a lion, a monkey, a dog, and a few other yakkers that were programmed to say a few lines and also had a string pull on them. So this guy says things like, My grandfather was an eagle. What does that even mean? My grandfather was an eagle. How are you a parrot? How does the intercourse work? And never mind. It also says things like, I'm the birdie. Feed the birdie. <laughs> know what he was trying to teach the kids. Hi there, I'm Cracker. Ah, I need a pal. I'm your pal to the end. <laughs> is a pretty interesting parrot. Does it say anything else? My grandfather was an eagle. Is that all he's got? So it just randomly kind of fluctuates with different lines. You know, you pull the string and each time you never know what quackers the parrot will say. And that's where things get creepy. A few people said that they had given these quacker animals to their kids as presents because they were popular back in the days. And parrots claimed that the tapes had been altered with, or some of the quackers animals tapes had been altered with. And they were saying lines that they weren't supposed to say, such as, I can see you. Ha ha ha, where the animal laughs in a weird, creepy way, or the lion roars, like roar, roar. I bet I'm gonna eat you up tonight. And just creepy stuff like that. I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't think mine says anything weird or has anything on this tape that it's not supposed to say. <laughs> You're kitty kitty. I don't even think I've heard it say that. Okay, well there is a chance that he could say some things that he's not supposed to. The more you pull his cord, you just never know what they're gonna say. Because these ones, you know, they're old. It's kinda creepy. Speaking of old and annoying toys, I also found this one that I wanna talk about before we get into the rest of the toys. And this one is called Talking Toucan. It's one of those toys that repeats what you say. Kinda like a Talking Tom situation. It says, talk to me and I can repeat what you say. It's supposed to be super annoying. And a lot of people have had problems with toys like this where batteries die out and they don't repeat what they wanted them to. They say things they're not supposed to. So of course, out of curiosity, I had to buy it to compare it to Quackers, because this is like a newer version, you know, of Quackers, essentially. He has batteries, he can say anything, he's not just a pull string toy. So I figured, let's test him out to see how fantastic he might be. Moment of truth! <laughs> this will get annoying really fast. <laughs> I don't know how long he can repeat. Like, if I kept talking like this, I feel like he'll just shut up. But I. This thing is gonna actually curse me in my sleep, okay? There's been so many problems with toys like this that repeat what you say. And parents and kids even claim to say, My bird said he's watching me, or this or that, or, you know, my bird said something it's not supposed to. It said a curse word. How? These are supposed to literally just repeat what we say. I don't even know who made this toy or what brand it is, but it is straight up just annoying. But you can do some silly stuff with it. So, along with all the Chris Mattel toys, there is one toy in specific that I feel like we haven't really talked about, and I want to talk about this toy because it's so weird. And that toy is called Fidget Friend. Before you get started, ask your mom or dad to help you remove your Fidget Friend from her packaging. Hey, what's up? So Fidget Friends are a toy line directed towards girls, yes, only towards girls. They said that boys couldn't have these for some reason, which didn't make any sense because a boy can play with any toy that he wants. Created by Mattel and their Girl Tech line. They made their great debut in July of 2011 at the New York Toy Fair, and they were similar to Furby toys, which we all know. They are soft, jelly-like dancing robots with animated faces on a screen and with a curly or leaf-like ear. They almost remind me of a robotic Teletubby in a way. Tell me if y'all see the resemblance or not, or if I'm I'm just crazy. I feel like they kind of look like cuter versions of Teletubbies that are like little aliens or robots. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. They even created newbies, which were smaller pets that the Fidget Friends owned and interacted with. And smaller. Now here's Fidget Newbies. Little singing Fidget Friends. 
You can put them together for a duet. Newbies even interact with Fidget Friends. As you guys can see in the commercials. So these toys were just super weird to me. I don't really know what the whole point is, why they were only marketed towards girls, why they had furby like features, and that's where they became a problem. Apparently somebody said their Fidget Friend actually lit up on a face that it wasn't supposed to, saying a bad word across the screen of the face, which is not supposed to even happen, or the eyes would animate meanly. And some people said their Fidget Friends would light up and start dancing in the middle of the night because they were supposed to dance, you know, and move around, but they would do it kind of like how Furbies would go off with no batteries. Same thing with Fidget Friends. There was all sorts of different Fidget Friends in a series that were voiced, and since 2016, it seems like the whole line of these products have actually been fully discontinued because they ended up getting annoying to parents, which I could see why they were. Let's Fidget Friends, your dancey, squishy best friends. I love to but they eventually released that new line of fidget newbies and fidget yippets and shimmies. And fidget friends with newbies interacted with each other and yippies could learn their own tricks, I guess. And make a similar yap or bark sound to a small dog, which would get annoying really quick, so I don't know what the point of that was. So in conclusion, I think these things were kind of just unsettling to look at, and I don't really understand the whole marketing campaign towards girls or what the point of them really even was, but I guess uh, people liked them until they didn't, until they got a little too annoying and uh, started working out their batteries in the middle of the night. So the next toy, in my opinion, is one of the ugliest dolls I might have ever seen in my entire life. So brace yourself. These ones are called Little Kittles. They were dolls originally produced by the toy maker Mattel Incorporated in 1965. They were introduced at the 1966 New York Toy Fair, as well as the others, and they were put on the market soon after. Initially, they were only three inches tall, and they were tiny by doll standards for the time. In such manners, they actually inspired a lot of other doll companies to make smaller toys just like that, because there were not a lot of smaller ones on the market at the time that were miniature. The sensation that they created in the toy world caused other toy companies to produce their own tiny dolls all across the nation. However, the first designs of these miniature dolls were straight up horrifying. Take a look. It looked as if you had ripped off a giant doll head from a full-size Barbie or another doll and shoved it onto a child's body. It just did not look right. The heads on these dolls were huge and the bodies were extremely small. I have no idea how they were supposed to resemble children when they literally looked and appeared to be wearing an adult-like head smashed atop of them. Their proportions are just so off and unsettling to stare at. Personally, I would not want to own one of these dolls. Not even if I grew up in that generation. I feel like I would have known the proportions would have bothered me. I don't know, they would have. And eventually people started thinking the same thing. They were asking themselves, why is the head on these dolls so big and the body so small? Because they were supposed to resemble children playing in the street. I don't know what their slogan was. It's about the neighborhood children. I don't... It doesn't look like a neighborhood child to me. It looks like a full-grown adult body head on a small, tiny body. I don't know. It just doesn't look right. There has been so many weird toys made since then, like for real. Mattel has like lines and lines of toys and dolls and controversial toys. I could just keep talking and talking and talking, but they've also actually released some really good toys. Since all then, they do have some good toys. I just want to put that out there. I really am a fan of the Monster High dolls. I like that they've been putting out dolls with all shapes and bodies and styles and looks and colors. I think that's really great. Today we're gonna be looking at some of the most cursed kids toys on all of TikTok. Smash the like on today's video if you guys are excited and be sure to subscribe to join the family because I post new videos every single week and I don't want you guys to miss out on it. So guys before we get into today's video I have a really exciting announcement and that is that Dragon Mania Legends is sponsoring today's video and I'm so excited because this game is so freaking cute. The universe of Dragolandia is full of adventures and of course it's full of super super cute dragons. I really love this dragon right here. It is my favorite one. In Dragolandia, you can collect, breed, and train more than 900 unique different dragons. You can also design and decorate your own fantasy island, which is one of my favorite parts of the game because I love to decorate. And you can make special farms and different habitats. You can master different elements and fend off vikings in epic battle. And even better, it's available for free on mobile, tablet, and PC. You guys have got to play this game. It is seriously so, so fun. I have so many cute dragons on my island. And if you guys get the game today through my link, you will pick up a free in-game welcome gift to get you started. Check it out today. I'll have the link down below. And thanks again to Dragolandia for sponsoring today's video. But let's get watching these creepy kids toys. Okay, so of course we all know Furby. This had to be one of the first ones that we bring up, okay? They're cursed. 
1998, this popular toy was banned. It was literally the year I was born. For an alarming reason. This it was owl -like banned? Toy called a Furby was programmed to utter a made-up language called Furbish. <gasps> oh, they do speak their own language. They started to speak English as well. They so creepy. They started to escalate. One of them resulted in ban of Furbies within NSA premises. According really? The rumor, Furbies were possibly foreign spy devices. That's so creepy that people could spy on people with a Furby. Like, what? They're creepy. Okay, so this girl here has her own AI doll. It says, our daughter is a toy tester, and we are blown away by this new AI-powered doll house. Well, it's not a doll. It's a whole doll house that's AI-powered. And if y'all don't know the new Megan movie, this literally reminds me of the new Megan movie. So take a look. Oh, hi. What's your name? Mariana. <laughs> I love your very beautiful teal dress. Oh, yeah. no. It's literally a repeat of <laughs> Megan in real life. It's literally just a screen. It walks around in the house? He's walking with fun for like this. <laughs> the kid likes it, but I mean, this is gonna turn into a Megan 2.0 situation, you know? She's jumping around all happy now, but not later. It's kind of peer, though. I, I hate that I have to hit on it because it reminds me of Megan, but it is kind of peer. She's literally jumping around different rooms and stuff. It turned its own TV on? This is ridiculous. What What is technology becoming? Are, are toys not going to be toys anymore? Is everything going to be just like digital? I feel like the future is going to be all digital because kids don't even play with toys anymore. Half of them play with iPads. So this is kind of scary. Okay, so this person has a doll and uh, it's not acting quite right. Take a look. I don't even think it's supposed to be turned on right now. That does not sound right. Ayo, why is its ears letting? Oh, it moved! It moved! It literally just smiled and the guy like threw it. It was like, oh heck no. Now that ain't no typical doll. He needs to burn it, okay? He needs to burn that thing to the ground. It's cursed. So I recently made an art room, okay? Where is this going to escalate? Okay, uh, they have a Care Bear. And I'm afraid my little brother will come in and mess with things. Why are they cutting their Care Bear's face? So I'm making a bunch of scary toys to scare him out. They're making a cursed Care Bear. Oh my gosh. Now that is actually horrifying. Pretty sure that's gonna, oh, they hung it. it that, yeah, that's gonna keep the brother out, okay? Uh, that would even keep me out. Scared me to shiver. Oh, I think this is one of those like snake game toys. These are scary. I'm not good with like games like this where you don't know like the suspense of like not knowing when it's going to like lash at you so they're each grabbing one until the snake bites them that's actually so creepy oh it's rattling hard at oh okay yep i would not be good at that game all right that game would actually make me freak out i hate the suspense of not knowing when something's going to happen all right i don't know what this is but uh it's some sort of teddy bear i i guess i don't know all right Peekaboo. Oh my! Okay. Yep. Nope. Nope. We ain't playing peekaboo no more. That thing can put his face back on where it belongs. I did not need to see all that. Okay. Barbie eats a pizza for the first. Oh, what? That ain't no Barbie. Never give a giant Barbie pizza. It's Barbie a giant never Barbie. Had food and she pizza? had a nightmare and she freaked out. That's not Barbie. Now she's looking for more pizza. That is she's so creepy. On her pizza. I don't like pineapples on my pizza either. I mean, I don't blame her, but geez. If that's a Barbie, I'm not trying to play with her, okay? That's that's creepy. That literally looks like a giant whore doll puppet. The government does not want this to exist. Oh, Furbies again? Causing chaos to the whole city? Why do Furbies have to be so problematic? Let's take a look. You come across these run the other way. Run these are the not other toys, way. and they're definitely not for kids. The government had to ban the toy after several oh. reports of them speaking and even moving on their own. They're One creepy, though. That after several years of locking them away, they heard the Furby scream, <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> they heard their Furby scream in the middle of the night? Well, to be fair, I have had some Furbies go off without the batteries, so... Maybe there is something going on, alright? I don't know. I need to get to the bottom of this Furby haze, this Furby craze. The Furbies are on the loose and they need to be stopped. Oh, not another one of these. My Barbie! That ain't no Barbie! I don't know what they think, but that, that's a Barbie right there, okay? See that? That in the corner of the screen? That's a Barbie. This! Looks like a mummified puppet, but let's let's continue the video. My Barbie is 300 years old, and she's oh, alive. Oh, it's a 300-year-old Barbie. Okay, maybe alive, that makes more sense. Toys are sleeping, and they can awake at any moment. 
Look at your toys and the eyes and tell me if it blinks. I'm actually gonna have nightmares tonight. Whatever we just watched, I wish I could unwatch it because I did not enjoy it. I did not enjoy that video. <laughs> Moving along. Okay, so this is another AI generated robot, I'm pretty sure. Makes me think that the future is going to be all digital toys and we're not just gonna have typical dolls anymore. Everything's gonna be a robot. So this robot apparently talks to kids too. Let's take a look. Why do you look sad? I feel a little sad that I don't have any hair. Yours is not He's bald. That was cool. Why is he more like a penguin? He's like, he's gonna fly away. <laughs> it wants to be human, yo? Okay, that was sketchy. Everything was fine until he said, I want to understand what it means to be human. Then it wasn't fine anymore. And then he started doing the penguin flaps. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that toy is, but I would not want it. Okay, I, I hope that the children of today go back to the Furbies at this point. All right, and that's saying a lot. Kids toys that got banned. All right, we need to know. Kids toys that got banned, part three. Part three. Up three. First is this toy. Potty this time with Elmo. This toy called Potty Time with Elmo. Why is and Elmo it so problematic? To help kids go to the bathroom, but instead it took a disturbing turn. One of the Did buttons it. was supposed to say, "Uh oh, who has to go?" Uh oh, who has to go? It said, "Uh oh, who wants to die?" Here really? is that video. I say some phrases though that toddlers probably shouldn't be hearing. Here's what Elmo was supposed to say. Okay, that sounds fine. did hear that it literally did say uh oh who wants to die okay i don't know if like the makers of this some of them like you know did some of these books incorrectly for their own enjoyment or if it was like a low battery situation and elmo all of a sudden started sounding like he said uh oh who wants to die instead of uh who wants to go to potty but that's like two very different phrases so um I don't really have an explanation for that. That's creepy. All right, demonic children's this toys. This is the scariest child's toy. And oh. Its story is truly disturbing. Oh, I think I've seen this the one before. Evil stick wand. The evil stick wand. Only made headlines in 2014 after someone found. Yeah, that's that's to be a horrifying. I don't like that. Demonic figure. Literally a demon in their the magical wand. Foil. Speculation quickly turned into. Looks like those dollar store toys. Led to its ban. Good, it got banned, okay? That poor kid who wanted to just play with their magical wand had to open it up one day and see that picture inside. They probably never wanted to ever have another toy again, okay? That thing is so creepy. All right, this this has to be one of those those creepy plushies again, but it looks like a cute little elephant, but let's just take a look. Nope, 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 that's not no cute elephant. Oh, it's just getting worse progressively. <laughs> They're so ugly, oh my gosh. Wait, the bunny too? Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> Wait, the ending, the kid just goes, Mama! Possessed scary toy. It looks like an alpaca. It looks cute. I don't know what could be so bad. They thought it would be a normal toy. It looks okay. normal. Okay. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, no, that ain't no normal toy. All right, yep, yep. That had, um, I don't even have words for what I just watched. <laughs> that thing turned into an actual demon, okay? I don't know. Scariest toys of all time. Scariest toys of all time, part one. This is Sir Growzalot. Sir Growzalot looks is like kind a nice of adorable, teddy bear, though. And tons yeah, of people cute. have bought him for their kids. But believe I'd it or not, him. this teddy bear has made hundreds of children cry. Although innocent looking at first, How? when you give him a hug, this happens. Oh, 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 I have one of those ones. They're like the angry face ones that you push in and their teeth just submerge. And they're actually kind of adorable in a really creepy way. I, I like those. I like those ones. Okay, so this last doll here is called Baby Secret. I've actually done videos about this doll. And heaven knows why somebody woke up and decided to make a doll that whispers in your ear a secret in a really sinister voice, but I guess they thought it was a good idea back in the days. So there's a pull string and this doll whispers secrets and it's just really unsettling, but take a look. She is a baby secret. Yeah, she, she is a baby is secret. Mattel, the creator of Barbie made this thing. This little demon was made by the Barbie's creator. All right, let's hear her. I want to hear her. They literally just said, I like to sleep with you. Like, what kind of secret are they trying to teach to kids? Like, having their doll whisper in the air, I like to sleep with you. No! Is that it? Is she gonna whisper something else? I know, I hate it. I know, I hate it. 
know a secret. Do you? No, I don't know a secret, and I'm not trying to know one, okay? That would actually horrify the heck out of me. As a small child, I would burn her. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for today's video about checking out some of the most scariest, cursed, horrific children's toys to ever be sold on the entire market. Comment down below, what do you guys think about those toys? Do you guys think Baby Secret was the most terrifying? Because personally, I do. And once again, I want to give a big shout out to Dragon Mania Legend sponsoring today's video. The app is so much fun. Fun. You guys will not regret it. Be sure to check it out. I have it linked down below so you guys can get your free welcome gift and sign up today and collect a bunch of dragons and get a really cute land and play the game with me, guys. It's so much fun, so be sure to check them out. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Be sure to subscribe to join the family and smash the like if you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see all of you lovely people in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.